Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to show you my GFX evolution. So let's go. For my first G, I did my first GFX the 5th of September 2020, and I used Maddie's GFX tutorial. Um, the lining is really bad, but I love the posture of the character. Then I did my GFX one month later. I don't know why I waited so long. Uh, it's my second GFX ever, and uh, it was for Halloween. Um, I still love it, and it really took me hours to do it because uh, I had uh, lots of problems importing the characters and the background. Um, but I really like the result. It's kind of spooky, creepy, and mysterious. So Halloween. Uh, this was a fan art for uh, one of my favorite uh, French YouTuber, and uh, he like added it as a Discord profile picture, and I was so happy. Um, uh, sadly, there are no textures on this JFX because uh, I chose like a bad background. Um, and I didn't know how to add texture myself, but I really like the style of the JFX. Uh, then uh, I think this JFX is like one of my worst. Um, it was for uh, an online friend, and the lining is bad, the position is bad, um, and the head is really weird. Like it's, I, I really hate this one. And this uh, GFX was for a uh, real life friend, and it was for his birthday. Uh, I really like this GFX. Uh, it's really not bad, and I tried to do like a candle lightning. Um, sadly, there's no flame at the candle, but I really love the posture of the character and like the moon behind her. Uh, the 13th of November. I finally learned how to add HDRIs, uh, and I tried a lie that goes to, that goes to uh, through some shutters, and uh, I think I might try to do this again, but this time in like a dark room, uh, like kind of the morning, with a brown uh, background and like with some orange, uh, yellow lightning. It will be really uh, cool. Uh, the 14th of November, I tried to add animation plane lightning, uh, and the result was kind of cool, so uh, I like it. Uh, the 29th of November, I uh, added a rig to my character, I like, changed the character on Roblox Studio, and I learned how to do some glossy characters. And all the month of November, I did a lot of uh, comments, and uh, I didn't sell them very expensive because it was more uh, to practice. I won't show them all because uh, there are really a lot of JFX. Uh, the 5th of December 2020, uh, there was uh, I did a JFX for my cousin's birthday because uh, like she loved the AI aesthetic JFX and I wanted to make her a surprise and she loved it so much. And I also loved the background, I used it uh, multiple times. The 9th of December, I added textures myself to this JFX. Um, I'm so proud of the result and I just love it. Uh, then this was a command um, and I really like this natural aesthetic design. Uh, I don't know uh, how to explain it. And I really like the position of the character. Uh, I did this JFX for Christmas for me and my parents. And there's also my little bunny in my arms. The 19th of January, uh, 2021. Sorry, I did my first banner, so I used it for my channel. Um, and people really loved my banners, so um, I had a lot of comments, and it was really cool. And these are my two most recent GFX. Um, I did GFX for like six, six five months. And I'm trying now to go more for a realistic style now. I just wanted to show you um, a, a last GFX, uh, so here it is. I just did it like yesterday, and uh, I, I'm really going for a, for a natural style of... I think this, is, uh, this kind of suits me. So tell me in comments what you think about all my GFX, and if you have some other tips, or uh, you can also ask some questions. And I will try to answer you if I can help you. Then, before ending this video, 
I wanted to uh, show you some tips um, for you to get better at doing JPEX. Uh, so don't compare yourself to others. I know it's really hard. I often compare myself to others um, But you shouldn't because like everyone uh, is unique and you can go faster than people or slower uh, just go at your own rate and um, You uh, one day get what you want uh, Also watch a lot of tutorials and practice a lot um and you must watch a lot of tutorials to know how to use Blender better and to know a lot of techniques like uh, for glossy, glass, uh, fur and lots of these things because it will help you a lot get more ideas and it will be better for your commands and don't sell your JFX for too expensive when you first start and um, raise your prices if you have too much orders and maybe lower them a little bit if you don't have enough. You must do JFX because you like doing them, not for the money. And you'll get better in time, so be really patient and practice a lot. So uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, I've created an Instagram account uh, so you can see my most recent JFX. And uh, see you for the next video. Bye!